All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, and for most as always, I want to say, Kwa Haloyim Ula Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Badash. Double honor being to the elder apostles, so great no stone that do rule and teach well. And a sincere Shalom to Ankim out there that's pushing his truth through his spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Badash. All right. So, uh, you know, uh, this is going to be a quick lesson. And uh, really, this is going to be a response video to uh, uh, this week's camp. You know, um, <clears throat> me and the beloved brother, Gabar War. And, uh, you know, while we were at camp, you know, and actually, you know, we were going into, you know, as, you know, we're commanded to, to prophesy, you know, this, that's the testimony of how shy the spirit of prophecy, you know. And actually, before I even get my initial precept, let me just snag that real quickly. All right. This is the book of uh, Revelation, chapter 19, and verse 10. And it says, let's highlight this real quick. And it says, And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, Now, right here, this is uh, John the Revelator speaking right now. All right. And, uh, it says, and he said unto me, see thou do it not, right? That's the angel, you know, so don't, don't bow to me, you know, don't bow to me, you know, that's what, that's what the angels telling John's, you know, don't bow to him, right? And why is that? He says right here, it says, uh, I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren, right? So the angels are also our brothers as well. They you know they do the work of the Lord as well, right? So we're not to bow to angels because the, the angels, they fear the most high. You know, the scriptures say the scriptures say that um, the angels, they tremble at the throne of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, you know, loosely paraphrasing, of course. And it goes on to say, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, worship the Most High Yahweh, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. You see, and that's what we're doing, we're prophesying, you know, we're uh, uh, prophesy, uh, prophesying about uh you know, occurring events, events that are have yet to happen, you know, which ultimately that that's, you know, uh, that's the lowest reality, you know, because privacy is reality just waiting to happen, you know. So us, so us, you know, uh, pushing privacy, you know, that that we we are, uh, we're, we're, you know, we are in the same um, stead, you know, as Yahweh Shai, you know. That's the, that's the testimony of Yahweh, of Yahweh Shai, the spirit of privacy, right? So it says, worship the Most High for the testimony of Yahweh Shai, the spirit of prophecy, right? So um, as we were at camp this past this past weekend, all right, uh, you know, as we were, you know, literally in the midst of camp, which I'll play it, you had a group of, um, you know, Palestine protesters, um, you know, marching, you know, downtown. And we were, you know, the Lord, you know, you know, gave us that, uh, you know, that insight, you know, and it's very, very beautiful to see because, you know, upwards of the people, you know, is one of the indicators to show us that we're living in the last days. And I also live in the last days, but, you know, that we're, you know, the brink of Yahweh Shah's return. Okay. Said, so you know what I could do with that body? You got to understand okay. where we're really at in this thing, man. This ain't just low level. Oh, oh shit. shit. They're marching. They're protesting. Look at that. We didn't even know. What did we just say? They're oh, fucking marching, shit. bro. Let me get that. Yup, and uh, let's see. Uh, Damn, it's right there, too. Yeah. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, you probably can't see him right here, but they came back around, you know, which I'm going to show in a couple moments. But yeah, man, it's very heavy. You know, so, you know, we were camping and this is right here. The timestamp says an hour and 35 minutes in, you know, so they, they came as we were in the midst of preaching the word, you know, and that's very, very, that's heavy, man, you know. And, um, you know, they uh, they came around. Let's but they're not turning this way, right? Look they, at that. Uh, the Lord got us tucked away. See that? Hope they're not, hope they're not coming this way. No, they're not. They're turning. Damn, look at look at the flags. Yep. It's all uh, 
Ishmael. Look at that. Wow. Uh, get second address nine. Second address nine and verse one. Yep, in which the brother called for it. And I know, of course, I read it. I'm going to get it right here. Okay? Because that's that was the perfect preset because we're living those days. Okay? This is the book of Second Edges 9 and verse... Uh, I'm going to get to the point, you know, just for time's sake. This is Second Edges 9 and verse... Um, fuck it. Let me just write from the top. Excuse my language. Sorry. Second Edges 9 and verse 1, it says, He answered me, then it said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. Right? And this is how we measure the time. You know, uh, by, uh, you know, being watchmen, look, you know, uh, staying the loop amongst the brotherhood, you know, uh, looking at looking out for the articles, you know, watching, you know, how uh, looking at, you know, the uh, the money, you know, how, how that's going, you know, you know, everything is going digital, you know, keeping your eyes over there in the Middle East, you know, just just about being, you know, uh, up to date. You know, and keeping your eyes on prophecy, you know, because that's the times you're living in, you know, measuring the time diligently itself, you know, uh, feeding the sheep, you know. And it says, and when thou seest part of the science past, which I told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And this is the Lord visiting the world, you know, you know, by what via of these are the earthquakes, these uh, the, the, these tempests, you know, these storms. You just had a huge hurricane, Hurricane Helen, or uh, what is it called? Uh, not Helen, um, Helene, you know? That was a huge storm, you know? You know, it's like every day there's an earthquake, you know? People are protesting, you know, uprising of the people, you know? And, and guess what? It's only going to get worse. Because just like just like how Yahawashai said in Matthew 24, these are the beginning of sorrows. So we are just seeing a, you know, getting a taste of what's to come, right? And it says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that, that were before thee, even from the beginning. So, like, in one second. Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm reading one more time. So, like, it says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou will understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, you see? So we're seeing these things happen. We're actually witnessing these things happen, you know, because that's what the Lord said, right? So when you, so you see earthquakes, you see uproars of the people, just know that we're living the last days. Why is that? Let's read it again. Because it says that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. You see, you just like how it says in Isaiah, the end was declared from the beginning. So what we are witnessing is just like I stated earlier in the beginning of this lesson is just a uh, prophecy waiting to manifest. Right. And speaking of manifest, let's keep reading. Verse five, for like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end and the end is manifest. OK, Babylon's done. Okay, soon there's not going to be, you know, Esau, you know, these heathens, they only have a short time, you know, like how it says in the book of Job, the, uh, 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 uh how, how does it go? Um, the, the, uh, let me just get it real quick. I believe it's in, um, Job, what's that, 14? Real quick, on a quick fly. Uh, that's, uh, not, uh, Job 20. Let's see. Let's go to Job 20 real quickly. Oh, yep, right here. Job 20 and verse, uh, 4 to verse 5. Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumph of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. So Esau, he he has a a, a limited time to rule. Shh. He has a, a limited time to rule. You know, you know, and, and you know, and wickedness can only, you know, wickedness has a limit. You know, and you know, Esau, his his rulership is is dwindling, is diminishing. You know, and that's why ultimately he's gonna 
come down unto us like a flood. But the Lord is going to intervene, you know, and protect us, you know, through divine intervention, you know, through the angels, you know, the Lord is going to deliver us, man. Like how it says in the book of Daniel 12, you know, verse one that comes to my mind, you know, it says that in multiple scriptures, but that's what comes to my mind. Daniel 12 and 1, you know, so the Lord has very special plans for his elect, you know, for the sincere believers. Okay. So, hey, man, we live in the last days, the last days of Esau's wicked ass rulership. Okay. So let's head back to Second Ezra's chapter um, nine and verse five. It says, "For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest." You see, is is manifest, man. The end is is is, is being made known. You know, and 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 now, you know, there's more talks of, you know, that the you know the term World War Three and you know, the uh, mainstream media, okay? I remember there wasn't a point when that wasn't even a talk. That wasn't even a topic, you know, a couple years ago, a few years ago. But now privacy is becoming mainstream because soon these people are going to have to, you know, um, accept reality, accept prophecy because you, there's no way getting around it, all right? And, but ultimately the point was of, the, of this, this lesson is that, you know, let me highlight this preset right here. Is to show how we we seen it, you know. And I, even though it wasn't, you know, uh, to the eyes of you know regular people, it probably wasn't nothing big. But that's huge, man. That's huge. That's a major sign, you know. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that wasn't the first. Um, that wasn't the first protest or you know march they had downtown. But that but that was you know you, you know as far as it comes to the whole uh, Palestine and you know Amalek war going on right now. But as far as just seeing it like that, that's a first, you know. That was beautiful, man. So call Lord Yahweh about Shema Shai. We're actually witnessing, you know, privacy unravel. You know, and like I said, it's on. This is, well, should I say, like Yahweh Shai said, this is the beginning of sorrows, you know. So let's head back in the, back in the video because not only are they seeing this occasion, but a few moments later they uh, came back around the block and you get a better look at it. Yep. And it says. He he measured. He, he answered me then and said, "Measured out the time dil diligently in itself, and without seeing part of the science passage, which, which I told you before. Yep. This shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Yep. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. Oh, hey brother, didn't we go into that word uproar? And it's a political term. Uh, yeah, I believe. Let me so. look it up on my phone. You got something in your nose right there. Water. And right here, I want the, the point right here where the key word says, uh, therefore, when there shall be seen. Oh, good one. So, so we've seen these things happen. Right. You know, and just like the, the, the time the disciples before they became apostles, they actually, they actually how was shy, you know, when it's going to be the end of the world, and how was shy gave them the list, you know, of things that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. But guess what? We're going to see the things happening. Right. So, it's not just going to, we're not going to, like, we're not just not going to see them. We're going to see them because, because the Lord, He allows things to happen here on earth, right? Guess what? Right. So <clears throat> he just read uproars of the people. When you go into the online etymology for the word uproar, it means outbreak of disorder, revolt. Mm. Revolt is a political term used by the government to categorize those rising up uh, against them. And what's that? That's sedition. Sedition amongst men. That's prophecy, baby. Okay. There's no way getting around prophecy. Okay, people don't understand that these people in this world, they're going to really realize that true prophets were truly among them. You know, you know, we're not just some, you know, starting off with our elder apostles and on down, you know, the, the bishops, you know, and the beloved brothers. We're not just some, you know, average so-called minorities out here, in, you know, in these, these streets, you know, uh, uh, just holding Bibles. No, this is deeper, heavier than what people see, you know. They're actually witnessing a a, a, a a government being built. They're they're witnessing, you know, a change in in history, you know, but they don't know it. But soon they will, you know. And I'm gonna fast forward it actually. Okay. To the to the uh when it came around. I believe it's around like the forty four mark. Times. Hard sometimes. 
You hear them roaring? They're yeah. roaring over there. Yeah. Oh, just like the, actually, since that brother did uh, mention it, upwards of the people, let's get it. Uh, second edges 15. And verse uh, 16. And it says, For there shall be sedition among men. Going into what the brother Gabar said, he said, uh, Upward, you know, a, a, a revolt, you know, an uh, uh, um, um, uprising against the, you know, a, uh, a government, you know. There's a sedition among men, you know, civil unrest, and invading one another. They should not regard the kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. You see, and that's and that's going to be in your lifetime or in our lifetime. All right, people are going to witness, you know, this these prophetic events okay people are gonna you know uh soon realize that what we're saying through the spirit and power of yahweh bashmao shai okay what we're saying is is very true you know and because people are not doing things right now you know people the, re the reason why you know they may not be you know on the edge of their seat is because you know they don't know the signs you know like even yes uh yesterday at the camp me and the brother by were speaking you know, and he was saying he made a good point through his spirit. He said the reason why people uh, and I don't want to butcher his words, but he's, you know, around these lines, he said the reason why people don't know because they don't know the signs. And that's a good point, you know, because if, if they knew they would, you know, they would uh, they would act way different. But that proves that the Lord is only dealing with a the elect, you know, the Lord is only dealing with his people. OK, not all these people out here are, are going to know. Because like the scriptures say, you know, the, the Lord has left a, cl a cluster for himself, but the rest were born in vain. Okay, I believe that's in the book of Second Edges, I believe the eighth chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just stack that real quick. Um, cluster, let's do that. Type in this keyboard real quickly. Let's see. What... Oh, excuse me. I'm, I stand corrected. Second Edges 9. Okay, this is second edge nine, and let's see here. And twenty one to verse twenty two, and it says, "And I saw and spared it greatly, and have kept me a grape of the cluster and a plant of a great people." That's the elect. You see, the elect are the ones that the Lord is keeps near and dear to Him. Okay. There is very special spirits. They've been predestinated before the foundation of the earth, you know, because they're going to be the ones to, you know, uh, bring, you know, bring back Israel. You know, they're, they're, they're that government, you know, the third temple. That's very important, man. And, and without Yahweh Shai, man, we'll be through. Okay. Yahweh Shai being the head of, of this church, the foundation, you know, and, and you know, and, and man, it's, it's, a, it's very beautiful, man. Okay. And it says, um, uh, verse 22, let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain. You see, born in vain. Okay, emptiness, right? You don't matter. You know, what's that multitude that was born in vain? Two, uh, two thirds. Now, of course, two thirds going to be in the kingdom. But on this side, they have no, they have no, um, no benefit to the Lord, if you will. Okay, speak, you know, if, if you get what I'm saying, like they don't, they're not serving the Lord. You know, they're serving Esau, they're serving their flesh. You know they're they're going off their own will. They're wicked right now, you know. But it but so in the kingdom they're gonna be come back through the loins of the elect and be righteous all over again. You see, in the heathen, you know they're through Esau. He's definitely through. So these people are born in vain. And it says, and let my grape be kept and my plant, for with great labor have I made it perfect. There you go. So let's back head back to the video. Wait, I don't think I finished this scripture. Let me read it one more time. Second Edges 15 and 16, it says, For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They should not regard their kings nor princes, right? They're not going to regard the, the, uh, the, you know, the, uh, you know, the uh, standing powers that be, the civil powers, the civil authority, you know, the law enforcement, right? The, uh, the you know, the mayors, the, uh, the politicians, that, the, the, the local politicians. They're not going to regard none of that. Because Jake was trouble is going to be, you know, who's barred, man, you know. But like I said earlier, the elect are going to be the ones that are going to be protected. 
you know, the elect, you know, their households. OK. So the people out here, man, they're going to be going, you know, straight bonkers, man. They're going to that, that's the only way I can put it. They're going to it says in the last days, perilous times shall come. These people are going to turn into actual savages and we're seeing it right now. But it's going to increase on a higher scale. And it says in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So they're going to become the new authority, you know, the new the new police, you know, and it's, it's going to be a, a beautiful thing to see. Though know, we're really going to see privacy really manifest in our lifetime. Believe it. OK, so let's head back to the video. Jokers being created over there waiting for their Lady Gaga. Man, okay. <laughs> things right here okay well we could close up let's see yep they came back right there so the 45th mark key yeah key reading second edge nine and verse eight and it says um shall be preserved from the set of perils yeah that's us all these other people right now they're just playing their position are they coming this way he don't even know okay thank you officer see even the officers they got to deal with this bs you know uproars of the Let's up, see. So they march down. And you got a woman leading the charge. They and, can uh, go that way. You know, spoiler alert, but uh, with spiritual too, uh, over here in this corner, as you can see, to, at on the right side, if you can see it, it's kind of blurry, but there's a, they have the, you know, the uh, the JOO flag. And what they did is they, they snatched it down. You know, and that's an omen, man. You know, Esau's done. You know, and that reminded me of when the crows... I believe back in 2022 or 2023, you had, uh, I believe it was, there, there was two occasions when you had crows take down the f their flag as well. So that's an omen, man. He saw us finito. He's out of here. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, they ain't all right there. Yes. Look at that. Read that, brother. Right and it right says, there. and shall see my salvation in my land. And let me just say this as well, please. This shows you how we're going to be in a secret place right in the midst of it. Wow, look at Cause, them. You know, look at look at us and look at them. Wow. Let's hear. She said it's a year of accountability. Wow. It's a hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. Beautiful, man. Can you zoom in anymore? Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Look at that. Look at all them Edomites holding Ishmaelite flags. This is the last days, bro. This is Babylon. IDF prepares significant retaliatory strike to Persia's missile bar barrage. That just said it right here, Skip. Look at that. That was a little tumult. Wow. Look at that. And we're just tucked over here. Um, that was a weak ass protest, but good. <laughs> no, no, that's good though. That's, yeah, that's it's really still a good, good thing. Oh, they might, are they staying right here? Oh, shit. They might be staying right here. They might tear the flag down. See? Oh, they did take it down. Oh, they just. Oh, they did. They just took the flag down? Oh, man, I got a quick I got a yep. precept. They just tore down a stronghold, brothers. <laughs> what you got? This is up. Man, call Lay Haba Shema, Shai Haba, Shem Kakwadash, you know. And, yeah, I'm going to end off on this one right here, man. Because we live in these times. Matthew 24 and verse, uh, let's see here, 33. And it says, and these are the words of Yahweh Shai. It says, so likewise ye... When he shall hear, stop it. It says, so likewise ye, when he shall see all these things, know that it is near even at the doors. Okay. Matthew 24 and verse 33. So likewise ye, when he shall see all these things, know that it is near even at the doors, man. Okay. So we've seen these prophecies, you know, in real time and they're only going to increase, you know. So just know that. Yahweh Shai is in his way. You know, these are one of the signs that Yahweh Shai, you know, you know, wonders about, you know. So, yeah, we're definitely living in, you know, uh, very serious times. But, hey, you know, we must continue to endure, continue to, you know, hold our crown tight to us, you know, continue to fight, man. You know, spiritually, spiritually fight. OK, you know, so Lord's word is lesson was edifying to the Lord's elect, you know, you know, to the, the Lord's sheep. And I just want to say, call Lam La Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakwadash, double honor be unto the elder apostles, a great millstone that do rule and teach well. And a shalom to you, Akim out there that's pushing the truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakwadash. With that being said, shalom.